Hi, so we just got back from Disneyland Paris yesterday. So I thought I'd do a quick haul video for you of the things that we purchased. So the first things we picked up when we were there were uh, was this photo pass plus. Um, we actually ordered this when we booked the holiday, so we actually got it cheaper than what it says on the box. I think it should have been. You can see there. Which is only 59.99 but i'm pretty sure we only paid 39.99 for it when we booked it when part of our holiday and um, so what you get with this inside you get your big photo pass on a lanyard and then you get two small ones as well and that's the back that's your activation code and so every time you are on the ride you then take this to the counter and find your photo number and tell them your photo number and then they'll scan this and it will come on your account um, also if you have any photo pass photographers such as when you meet the princesses or you meet Mickey Mouse um, you, they scan this card for you and your photos come on your account now I don't think this is very good value for us because a lot of the rides that have photos are closed so like um, Space Mountain and what else was closed um, Pirates of the Caribbean those two rides that you get photos with which are closed so you can get them and they just didn't seem to be any photo pass photographers out with any of the characters there was, there was only a photo pass photographer with Mickey and Minnie Mouse as you walked in the whole time we were there we didn't see any other photo pass photographers so really I don't think we actually got our money's worth with this I don't know if it's better other times of the year if there's more photo pass photographers about but for us I don't I think we probably did just about get our money's worth because we went on some of the rides more than once so we got a few photos from them but for character wise we didn't really get our money's worth I don't think not like when we got the one from Florida where there's a photos pass photographer with every character in Disneyland Paris it's not like that um, they'll take your photos with your own camera and there's no photo pass photographers with the characters or at least there wasn't while we were there so I don't know if I went again if I'd get it I'm not sure definitely wouldn't pay 59.99 for it anyway so yeah that was the first thing we picked up and then second thing we've got was our autograph books I got this one Lauren's got that one and then you also just got this pen I'm not sure how much we paid for those but I think we've pretty much well we were gonna have one each but then we ended up just doing filling one and then filling the other one so I think we almost filled that one and then this one's pretty empty there's not that many in that one so we can probably take that again next time so we picked up those another thing that we got we didn't actually buy these from Disney I bought these before we went I heard that having a land yard is um, quite good for while you're there just to keep all your stuff together so we kept our fast passes our park ticket our hotel easy pass all in there just so it's easy access to them um, so yeah I made the lanyards the night before we went so I made Toy Story 1 for Lawrence and then for myself I made a Disney Princess one which matched the ears that I made as well so those are the lanyards that we made for the trip and then we also got this hat each, we got one each from the Wild West show when we went there, so that was a nice keepsake. I also just picked up some of these lollies, I got these from one of the buffets, it's the inventions, they have it on the buffet, so I just picked up a few, and I'm going to give them to my brothers. This one is cola flavoured, and then the DC one is sour apple flavour so I thought they'd be nice little gifts for my brothers so I'm going to give them those and then also we just have these books that are in Creature Plus you get free in the hotel so that is shampoo 
and body wash in one. And it's quite cute with a little Mickey head on there. And I think that one's exactly the same. Shampoo and shower gel. And then I've also got the little soaps as well. And then you can see the soaps on them look open with a little Mickey head on the soaps. It's so really cute. And so those are like some free things that she got. And then Lauren's picked up some of these Mickey Mouse ears with the hat. Again, I'm not sure how much you paid for those. Um, I didn't buy any ears because I had my ones from that I bought from Disney World in 2013, which is just like this but with the red Minnie Mouse spare one. And then I also made myself some ears which I took with me, which I think I've shown you in another video. And then Lauren's also bought me some earrings. I'm not sure how much you paid for these. I think they might have been 20 euros. I'm not sure. And he bought me those. Those are blue coats anyway. But he bought me those to go with the necklace that he bought me when we were in Florida last year for our honeymoon. So this is a necklace he bought me last year from Florida. So he thought that those earrings would go nicely with it. So he got me those. So I think they do look good together. So I wore those the whole time we were there. The first things which I got were these pins for my bag just to decorate it. So I got this lovely Eiffel Tower which has got like the red and pink dots to represent Minnie Mouse. And then I got this Mickey Disneyland Paris one. And then I got this like Mr. and Mrs like mini ears, uh, Mickey ears, pin badge. I got that just to remind me of our honeymoon that we went on last year to Florida because I wanted that while we were there but I ended up not getting it so I'm glad I got it now. The next one is just a Disneyland Paris 2017 pin just to remind me of this trip and then a little Minnie Mouse holding an Eiffel Tower I thought that was really nice. So all these pins were either $6.99 or $7.99. So they were all quite cheap. They weren't too expensive. And I think they look really nice on my Mickey bag. Okay, the other things which I purchased was this mini mouse pen. It's just black with the little bear. When I went to Florida in 2013, I got um, a pink one of these with white spots on, but that's run out now, so I thought I'd get a replacement. So I got that, and that was $5.99. And then I also got some more pens, which I'm going to put in my craft room. My craft room I've currently started to redecorate, and it, I've now done it in more pastel colours. So I thought these would look nice in there with the pinks and the greys. And so that's a set of five pens, and they were $5.99. That's the front of it. It's got mini on. I really like those. And then the next things we got were just some fridge magnets. So we've got this one for us. This is Disneyland Paris, and then we've got the same one for my parents as a gift. And then we also got this one for us, and we're going to put a picture of our trip in there. And so that one was $7.99, and that one was also $7.99. And then the next thing that I purchased for me was this Minnie Mouse. I know it's supposed to be for babies, but I wanted a pink mini to go with my craft room. My craft room used to be decorated red, so I had a mini dressed in her traditional red outfit, but it no longer, no longer fits in with the, like the, um, the theme of my craft room because it's gone more vintage and then more past. This is from that old, so I thought if we do have a baby, we could give that to them maybe. Well, I'll just keep it. And so that was nineteen ninety nine. 
I also, my husband also got this mug which says Disneyland Paris and it's got some of the ride attractions on so I think that's Space Mountain that's the Tower of Terror that's the Phantom Manor and that is Thunder Mountain and then the castle and then it's got all your characters Mickey Daisy, Donald, Goofy, Minnie, Pluto, Jafar, Hook, Baloo, okay. And so this mug was, let's just see, £12.99. So I think that was a really nice mug for £12.99. Next thing I bought was for my brother and we got him this Mr. Potato Head man and we've dressed him up in like a Disney um, and what we didn't realise is when we bought it we didn't get a mouth we only got this this one we got this from um, I think it's the Emporium in Main Street and they didn't have a lot of the things to go with it I mean they only had this like green mouth the only eyes they actually had there were these so we actually had to go to the Disney store in Disney Village and swap the eyes. Well, we're going to swap them, but they let us keep both. So I wish we'd realised that we didn't have a mouth and we could have done that as well. But I hope he'll like it. So with the Mr. Potato Head, it's 19.99, and you get a body and then as many pieces as you can fit in the box. So we also got to go with it the Darth Vader suit and then just like thin eyes and a mini bow probably won't use that but we just fit whatever they had there we put in so yeah i hope my brother will like that um the only other things we purchased were my husband's stuff and he bought himself some pajamas so he got this which says oops. I am not made for morning and they come with these shorts and I think they were $34.99 for those and then he also bought himself a t-shirt it says the original Mickey Mouse through the years it has pictures of Mickey on it that was really nice and that was 29.99 I think yep that was 29.99 yep so that's everything we got we didn't buy much this trip because we didn't have much money um I don't really think there's anything else I would have bought but yep so that's everything we got if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and thanks for watching